one of our executives, Lou Scheinfeld, noticed that a lot of people were not standing up for the national anthem in the building. And so he decided to shake things up one day, and he put a recording of Kate Smith's God Bless America on, and we won. <laughs> so that was the criteria. And now, then he, I didn't want to know. He, he selected the games when we were going to play, and the record was phenomenal. And then when we got into the playoffs and the finals um, through with her agent, he was able to secure for a small fee, not a major fee, her to come in person. And she was very reluctant to sing in an arena, even though she was semi-retired. And she sang, and the crowd went crazy, and uh, it was the, she says it was one of the great experiences of her life. And then after that, we had no trouble getting her when we needed her, and we got her before the Stanley Cup final game, game six. And I'll never forget Phil Esposito and Bobby Orr were going to break the curse. So they, they skated up to her and handed her a bouquet of flowers before the game. <laughs> and they thought they were going to break the curse, but we still won.